Welcome to this video. Today we are going to discuss about the rental module of Odo 17. So nowadays we see that rental has become a common practice for all the companies and the organization and it is very cost effective. If suppose let's consider that a company project is going for two months or three months then it's very much profitable when we um, hire a product like table, chair, laptops on rent. So it will be cost effective and there will be no use of maintenance of the product unnecessarily. So to manage all the rental equipments, we use this module of rental so that we can manage the uh, cost and the expiry of the product and can handle all the scenarios in one flexible module that is the rental module. Let's go and check out what is in the rental module. So in the interface of rental module, we can see the company name and the rent of the rental of module products can be seen over here so before going to this module what we have to check first the product as we are having the product so by default you can see can be rented filter is already applied on the product these are the product on which the rental check has been applied so where is that rental check we can see a check is applied over can be rented just click on the uh, check button and now what there is a tab rental price so we can manage the price of the product as per the hour weekly monthly yearly as per as required and suppose the agreement of the product is from uh, agreement of the product is for one month and due to some reason it has been delayed for one day one hour and so on so that calculation can be calculated and can be managed over here okay Let's go and check out how we will create a rental order. So we have the interface as commonly we have the smart filters by default rentals can be seen over here and this all are SO that is sales order. There is list view, calendar, period view, graphs, etc. and activity. So let's create a rental order. Just go select the company. I will call it select Azure interior and will select a product. I will take this product as printer as I have created for the rental purposes. And one more thing expiry of the product, quotation date, recurring plan can be entered, price risk. This all are as similar as the sales order. The variation is that rental period we have to select over here. Click on the period starting let's say as starting period will from first and the end date will be 29th of Feb and applied. Now first, now it's okay. And change the timing of the rent, let's say 9 a.m. to Nine thirty. Okay, and 
Click this button will update the calculation part. We can see auto calculation for one month has been uh, calculated over here. So we can see a sales order has been created. We will send the quotation to the customer. As the flow goes on as in sales order, it is just similar to the sales order as it is a sales order because we are giving a product for rent. It is a service. Now we will confirm it. And we can see it's booked. The user can pick the product and serial number is there so that what happens sometime there are multiple printers but we know that printer xy is more uh, efficient and good is in good condition than any of the printers available in a stock so the customer can demand that i want xy printer for my use for the rental purposes so we can select over here and pick and we will validate it so we validate it the moment we validate and the product has been picked up and as the uh, period gets over the very simple process to return the product we can see a return button has been enabled over here just click on the button we can see the printer just validate and that printer will be returned to our inventory or our stock again that is how rental order uh, plays a very vital role in the uh, working of an organization and our workflow end up over here thank you so much for watching this video like share and subscribe our youtube channel videos and you will be getting a lot and yes don't forget to comment upon these videos because if you comment on these videos this will really going to give us the motivation to upload more and more videos thank you thank you so much stay tuned